St. Lucie County is home to one of Florida's nuclear plants, and News Channel 5's Liz Flynn continues our team coverage tonight with a look at what local emergency managers there are doing to make sure that area stays safe. St. Lucie Emergency Management Coordinator Tom Daly has been watching the pictures coming out of Japan. Time will tell as to how much radiation comes off these plants or how much damage has been done. What he wants people to know is... These are older reactors. They were on a fault line. Um, that's not likely to happen here in Florida. 225,000 people live within 10 miles of the St. Lucie County plant. Tsunamis and earthquakes aren't a big threat here, but hurricanes are. Daly says reactors in St. Lucie County are newer and have more safety systems than Japan's, and they're designed to withstand a Category 5 storm. Each reactor has two backup generators, whereas Japan's only have one. And they can run on steam if necessary, whereas Japan's reactors require electricity. Even if the two units in St. Lucie lose all power and their backup generator power, they can still move water over the core. That's critical to preventing a meltdown. As an extra precaution, Florida's reactors are shut down ahead of any storm. FEMA evaluates St. Lucie's nuclear safety plan every two years, but the county practices it every year. We have to have evacuation plans, plans to protect schools, um, hard to move uh, populations like hospitals. Those plans would be carried out here by local, county, state and federal government leaders in the St. Lucie County Emergency Operations Center. So far since the nuclear plant's construction in 1976, it has never had to be implemented. The St. Lucie County Emergency Management Coordinator says he hopes one thing everyone will take from this is how important it is to have a safety plan for natural disasters, emergencies, and accidents. That was Liz Flynn reporting.